<laughs> Fix the hair first. <laughs> Let me see how it looks. Okay, it looks marvelous. Good morning. starting off another vlog i just wrapped up the other one yesterday so we're just gonna keep it going the snowstorm has finished it's like tapering off now it's 8 30 it kind of started finishing around like eight um bubba bubba's outside right now snow plowing or snow blowing not plowing but out here serving up all the dad energy or all the husband energy rather look how cute he is Bless his little heart. Boy, oh boy, do I love that man. Um, I could not sleep last night. I don't often have issues sleeping. Um, but last night, I don't know what it was. It was one of those nights where I just like felt like I never actually fell asleep. You know those nights where you're like just in and out, tossing and turning all night? It was one of those. And then I got up to use the bathroom at like 6 o'clock and I'm like, I'm just going to stay up. So I've been up for a few hours, but he got up early too. And we've just been kind of like, we just like laid in bed and chatted and hung out for a little bit, which was nice. Honestly, sometimes I love getting up early just so I can like ease into the morning, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I'm cooking up some breakfast. I'm making him some turkey bacon, a hash brown. I'm going to make him also some egg whites. Um, for myself, I'm doing eggs, one hash brown, two turkey sausage, and then just eggs. But, um... Four points for the hash brown, three points for the two turkey sausage patties, and then zero points for my eggs. But just felt like making like a good old breakfast this morning. Like not my scramble that I usually have, just like a little more of a treat yourself. It's been too long since we've done a little car vlog. Um, so Yar cleaned off my car to the best of his abilities. Before he had to go to work so get a little toasty in here get a little toasty in this bee i just have a couple errands to run so i thought i'd like bring y'all along show you the snow um thankfully the roads look great like the plows and salt has all gone so we're safe also my car is amazing in the snow but the snow has stopped i think i already told you guys that <laughs> but uh i'm gonna let this defrost for like a second and then we'll go. All right, guys, here is some snow for your viewing pleasure. I mean, I just love right after the storm when all the trees are covered. It's just so beautiful. Like, are you kidding? Winter Wonderland. I've been craving snow, so this is like making me so happy. Good morning, everyone. So it's the next day. Nothing exciting happened yesterday. <laughs> Can you guys hear Yarmin working out? Um, he's working out now. I, it's only 8 o'clock. It is 8.07. I'm easing into this morning. Um, currently drinking some warm lemon water. Again, nothing exciting yesterday. I have a lot of work to do today. I'm continuing my little series of trying skinny people's clothing lines plus size section. <laughs> so I got in a new shipment. So I think that will probably be up after this vlog. So get excited, stay tuned. You guys gave me so many amazing recommendations for that because it's fascinating. It's just fascinating. Um, but I'm gonna work out after this. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I should probably do some strength training. It's been a few days. So I think I'm gonna do some strength training um, and get ready for the day. Shower, gotta wash the hair. All right, y'all, we just got a very exciting PR package. Dunkaroos? Dunkaroos is rebranding. <laughs> I see Goker Dunkaroos. Okay, we need to do a little haul here. Also, I just finished my workout and I look a little gross. Okay, so I just took everything out of the packaging. I'm so excited. So <laughs> these are Dunkaroos Gogurt. Low fat yogurt with vanilla cookies. Keep refrigerated. Vanilla birthday cake flavor. We're gonna have to try it. And then they also sent Dunkaroos cereal. Dunkaroos cereal. And then it's like just cute little merch. This is so cute. I'm gonna cry. This is just taking me right back to childhood. Oh my god. 
And if you don't remember Dungaroos, I officially feel old. If I'm like <laughs> before your time, look at this cute Dunkaroos watch. <gasps> Guys, it is so like 90s, 2000s. Oh my God, I can't get it open. This is quite bougie. It's even in like a container. Okay, Dungaroos PR, <laughs> pop off. <gasps> this is so 90s. This vibe, oh my God, this is so cute. And then we have an original Dunkaroos. The cookies and vanilla frosting, the OG. Oh my God. <laughs> On my bun. <laughs> what a mood. Oh my goodness. And inside has the cookies. Oh my goodness. Stop it. This is so freaking cute. So I just checked the little yogurt and cookies just because I am following my plan. Five points. Not terrible for a little snack. You can make it work if you want to. Let's see, is it worth five points? Honestly, life's not all about points though. If you want to have, have your snack, have your snack. Okay, let's see. It looks like the original Dunkaroo vibe, but with yogurt instead of frosting. Actually, it slaps. Mmm. Yum. It's a great idea. Doing it with yogurt. And if you like Dunkaroos, like the original Garoos, this has nine points. And the yogurt one only has five. So it's like kind of, it's kind of fulfilling that. It's really good. Like really? Nice little post-workout snack. Mmm. I wonder if these are at the grocery store yet. I like them though. All right, I'm gonna finish my snack. Go take a shower. I just had to share this one with you because I was so excited. <laughs> All right, y'all, I have showered, washed my hair. We love a hair wash day. And I'm gonna be filming a different video today. I think I already said that. So we're gonna do some makeup and get ready. I'm gonna throw on a little all nighter primer. This is actually almost gone. I feel like I used like, a lot. It definitely has a good grip. I feel like I wore it a lot this last year because of masks and it just kind of helps everything stay on but i'm not going out today so i probably shouldn't have even wasted it also guys i have been very strict on my skincare and i love those ordinary serums that i got is this one almost gone uh oh i had it even standing upright too so it could collect i think we're all out i finished this this is so good the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. So beautiful. So I'm glad I am applying it one last time. I'll probably buy more to be honest. It's a really, really beautiful drugstore foundation. It kind of gives me like um, luminous silk vibes. I'm gonna switch to Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk now. And hopefully you guys can see the difference. I'm also just filming in natural light. So hopefully it looks okay. Like a similar consistency, a similar finish. You know, when this starts to slip your hair towel and you're like, oh, we're going down, down. It's so similar, so similar. They're both definitely not like full coverage. I wanna see if there's anything left. Oh, come on. Like they're kind of like a medium coverage, but you can definitely build, which is cool. So how's everyone doing? <laughs> How's everyone holding up? I cannot believe it's most February. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the wedding. Can you update us on the wedding? <sighs> the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, the wedding. I'm gonna use some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach. So we're um, trying to figure that out right now. Um, if you guys didn't know, and you're also probably confused because you're like, Alex, you're already married. So we ended up eloping um, during COVID when we had to push our wedding. Our wedding was supposed to be last October. And we actually ended up moving it to this June on the same day that we eloped last year. So it was kind of gonna be like a really special day, like one year from the elopement to have like the big wedding celebration. Um, and we call it like a wedding celebration because we're technically, you know, already married, but we still wanted to have that like big, it was just the two of us on our elopement day. I do have a video. It was just the two of us at the park 
Um, it was very beautiful, but we also really wanted that celebration where like our families could come together and like really just celebrate love. I'm just throwing on some under eye powder. And like a lot of our families haven't even had a chance to meet yet. It was supposed to just be like this big like celebration, you know? Um, and because of COVID is why they haven't like been able to meet. And to be honest, like we're both just very thankful for, you know, the love that we have. And I think we both just really wanted like a day just filled with love and filled with family and friends and just to have that moment of like, oh, we found each other. Like, cause we're just so in love and happy and we wanted to share that, you know? I'm doing the Tarte, Tartist Pro uh, Glow Palette, just using their contour powder. Who is calling me? I don't know that phone number. But now, you know, we're at the point where pushing it again doesn't feel super ideal. We both really want the moment. We don't want to regret not doing it. Uh, but we're also like, I don't know, should we push it? Should we do a vow renewal in like five years and have our moment then? So ultimately right now, we still have no answers. So for updates, we talked to our wedding venue the other day. Our wedding venue is in Rhode Island. And currently in Rhode Island, the event legal limit is 15, <laughs> one five. <laughs> and we have like a hundred wedding guests. So in Massachusetts, we were like, okay, maybe we can move vendors. <laughs> Cause actually Yar has got the vaccine because he's in the military. Um, my grandparents are starting to get it. So we were hoping like maybe by the end of summer, a lot of people have vaccines or things will be better or we could do it outside. And I know it's all just very personal for people right now. And if they feel comfortable, do we feel comfortable? So Massachusetts, the limit is 25. So ugh, I don't know, either way, it's not gonna be for a while, whether we still keep it in June and things somehow get better, or if we end up just canceling it and maybe doing a vow renewal in five years or maybe we will all of a sudden get the urge to uh push the wedding i don't know right now we're kind of just taking it like a day at a time and waiting for answers thankfully our wedding vendor or the venue i mean is we've already put down a 50 percent deposit like a while ago so thankfully we'd be able to get that back they said if like the limit doesn't go up um to at least 50 and we're like okay well we could probably do the wedding with 50 people we could definitely you know minimize and then at that point <laughs> sorry I'm just, it's just like a spiel it's just it's it's been so so stressful <laughs> and i know people have it a lot worse or way bigger problems so i don't talk about it very much but it's been a bit stressful and there's a lot of just like limbo right now a lot of just waiting little makeup forever matte powder so yeah that's all i really have right now i wish i had more i wish i had more um we just want it to be if we do it we want it to be safe um that's it really <laughs> safe <laughs> that's our biggest concern so our wedding venue is supposed to you know keep us posted with like the state guidelines just setting my eye concealer or i will crease they're supposed to keep us updated with the guidelines if the limit gets any bigger. I don't know. It'll either be uh, smaller or canceled or postponed. <laughs> also, I'm still completely and utterly in love with the Revolution. Mega Bronzer in cool, uh, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all I got really. It might be canceled. It might not. That's my little update. People are always asking, you know, for tips for planning during this time. And I would just say, wait, just wait. Um, you know, we had done all this before COVID, so, or started it. So I don't know. I feel bad for people who have to push their wedding a bunch of times. And, you know, we are thankful that we eloped though. We just, you know, for a lot of, we had a lot of different reasons we wanted to elope, especially with military stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Keep y'all posted. Let me know if you guys are going through the same thing. I know a lot of people are. Um, a lot of you guys have been telling me that you've had to push your wedding several times and you're like, this is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. 
I don't know why I'm contouring my nose. I literally just did that out of pure <laughs> habit. I mean, I did want to contour my nose actually, now that I think of it, because I'm filming. At first I was like, you're not doing anything today. Why are you doing this? But no, we're filming and I want to be snatched. But yeah, if you guys are trying to plan a wedding right now, as you guys know, one of my best friends, Lily, got engaged recently and they're starting to plan for 2022. And she's nervous. I'm like, I think you'll, I think you'll be okay by then. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> so time will tell. I would say, uh, don't make anything concrete. Just uh, keep your options open until we have some definitive answers. But I'm not guaranteeing this and I don't know, but I'm hoping next year for a lot of people, 2022 will be okay. I did see on the news though that like, they're saying uh, most people should be vaccinated by the end of summer. I don't know, and that depends if everybody wants to get a vaccination. So it's all confusing. A little highlight on the nose. A little beep boop bop. Um, what is this? Mac Gingerly. Mac Gingerly blush. Also, a lot of you guys are telling me how I potentially maybe was using um, that e.l.f. camo CC cream wrong. Uh, so thank you. A lot of you guys said it works really well with a brush and that maybe the primer was messing it up. So, um, the issue, I love a nice white tee, but like, why am I wearing it during makeup? Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for the tips and tricks. I will definitely be trying it. I should have done it today. <laughs> Didn't even think of it till now. Uh, Revolution Highlighter in just my type. Very pretty. Revolution took my heart the day that I discovered them. Like they're whew, so good. Y'all put me on. Looking glowy. I, I'm also waiting for like my vanity little light up mirror to come so right now i'm just like winging it <laughs> just like winging it with the makeup this could look really bad in different lighting <laughs> my eyebrows my eyebrows a little it cosmetics brow power filler lately i my brows have gotten pretty full like i've been kind of growing them in a bit and i really like how they look pretty naturally with just like some of this you know, and then I'll apply just a little concealer underneath just to clean them up a little. But it just makes them nice and fluffy and kind of natural looking. Concealer brush, some concealer. I do love this freaking concealer though from e.l.f. I really do. Yeah, like I feel V sad <laughs> that the e.l.f. camo concealer or camo <laughs> CC didn't hit me the way it did for everyone else. Like I watched some videos after and I'm like, yo, what's wrong with me? But you guys told me <laughs> what's wrong. So alas, we will try another day. So what are we doing for Valentine's Day? What's everyone up to? Nothing, right? <sighs> Tis the season. Um, have like a cozy night at home, whether you have a partner or not. Like honestly, I would just make it a super, super cozy night at home. Where is my blending brush? Order some food, watch Valentine's Day. <laughs> just like when we watch New Year's Eve, those movies with all the celebrities. I haven't watched Valentine's Day in a long time. Oh, also, I don't think I've talked about this over um, like YouTube, but over on Instagram I have been. I am completely and utterly obsessed with the show Imposters. It's a problem, it's a problem. And I just found out there's no season three. Um, it's so good, like it's just so good. Um, it's on Netflix, there's only two seasons. It was originally on Bravo and now it's on Netflix, which is great. I had asked you guys like a while ago um, for some show recommendations and some of you guys recommended that and I was just like, okay fell in love the first episode and I'm not even gonna lie most of the time with shows it takes me a few episodes to feel anything and like to be invested one episode I was like I need answers they did a good job though at the end of every episode you're just like hooked I'm just doing some brown for uh, like a little wing just like so subtle 
anyway so now i only have like a couple episodes left and i'm just like dragging it out I'm just like savoring every moment all right little mascara a little lash and you guessed it a rosy nude lip <laughs> it's my comfort zone what's everyone's comfort zone for makeup because like honestly some people i know feel like the most themselves with like a super colorful eye or a wing or you know or you're nude <laughs> you're like nude like me so let me know in the comments because now i'm just curious today we're doing some miami flares uh so i'm gonna throw this on off camera because it takes me a little while and i'll be all right back okay lashes are on lipstick is on it's the makeup forever hold on makeup forever artist nude cream it's really comfy it's in the shade number one it's like the perfect nude um yes gonna have some lunch gonna do some filming gonna do some editing don't have a lot to share otherwise also i will say the candy heart candles from bath and body works smell phenomenal good morning everyone it is absolutely frigid today it's literally three degrees right now the high for today is 15 crazy um i need to show you guys how cute this is like i am living for my etsy fantasies guys i am addicted to etsy it's a complete and utter problem but also not really <laughs> um so i got this on etsy um i wish i sized down like i wanted it to be oversized but it feels like a little a little too oversized so i got this in a 4x i'd probably rather get like a three or two but just for reference because i know some of y'all are going to want to grab this i will link the shop down below but it's so cute it's got like little designer logos and candy hearts for valentine's day oh my god it's so cute so good morning <laughs> it's really cold got a cute sweater on miranda fry miranda fry piercing pagoda um gonna see my mom today watch the bachelor okay so i'm very excited because i got a new flavor of alani new and you guys know i'm addicted to their energy drinks right now for like pre-workout or if i just need a little pick me up so the only flavor i had tried was do you remember what flavor that was hawaiian shaved ice hawaiian shaved ice the most like popular flavor it's like it was kind of coconutty fruity Hawaiian shaved ice. It was very good. It's like their most popular flavor. So you guys were telling me I should get the mimosa because it tastes like orange soda and then also the cosmic stardust. I don't know what exactly this is supposed to taste like, but I'm excited. <laughs> so I just opened it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's very cute packaging. So let's see. Ooh, grape. Mm. That's yummy. Try that, babe. Because you tried the Hawaiian shaved ice and you liked it, right? Yeah, I did. That's freaking yummy. God, I love their energy drinks. Cosmic Stardust. 200 milligrams of caffeine. Better than Gofefe. It tastes like candy. I know, it does. It tastes like... No, I don't know if it's grape candy, but it tastes mm. like candy. To give you the perfect taste of what this tastes like, it tastes like the purple Jolly Ranchers. Well, that's actually totally on point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. When I try the mimosa, I'll let you know. Good morning guys. I am currently doing some deep cleaning in the fridge because I needed to. <laughs> I thought about it the other day. I'm like, have I cleaned out and like wiped down the fridge since I've moved here? No, not okay. <laughs> so I'm drinking the mimosa flavor of the Alani New. You guys are right. It tastes like orange soda. It's very good. I'm officially obsessed. So I was like, I was like halfway through and I was like, why am I not filming this? We are making major progress. I have finished um, this side here. Um, I have finished top shelf, these side shelves. I still need to do the drawers, which are probably the worst. It's where we keep like um, fruit and veggies, meats. And then I need to really clean out like the condiment side. Cause there's also a lot of stuff here that we just don't even use. So here we go. the hair first. <laughs> Let me see how it looks. 
Okay, looks marvelous. Good morning. If y'all only knew how freaking crusty the cheese drawer was. I'm not even ashamed to say it because I can't even imagine how y'all's cheese drawers look. They're either going to look like mine before or mine after, but there's no in between. Um, that took so much scrubbing. All the other shelving was fine, but oh, it's so nice to have it so clean. Um, and I'm also soaking the organizers. This is where we put like... Well, I like having these organizers in the drawers just for like, um, like lunch meat and sliced cheese. Just helps to organize a little bit. So I'm soaking those. Uh, I still have to do here and here and the rest, but I have a nail appointment, so I'm gonna go get my nails done. These were super fun, but I'm ready to move on. And then we will continue this afternoon. All right, it is later now. Guys, look how cute these little Valentine's nails are. I got the idea from Pinterest. They're like, kind of look like little candy hearts. So cute. So cute. Um, I am gonna finish cleaning the fridge. <laughs> because I don't want to now. In the morning, I thrive. I get so much done in the morning. I've become a morning person. In the afternoon, I lose motivation and prefer to just like do computer work. But alas, I wanna get this done. So, um, back to the montage. All right, these are clean. My little organizers. I do have a video. It's definitely not like fully like that anymore. Um, I did a video where I organized my fridge like Khloe Kardashian and some of it stuck like a little bit of it is that actually i want to say a lot of it's the same sorry the office is on in the background um per usual but if you want to see how when i like fully organized i will link that video below Clean. 